Today's cartoon story joke is a swinging tale of love and attention, starring golf and a wife caught in the crossfire. From Roman stick and ball antics to Ming Dynasty swing sessions, the history of golf is a comedy of strokes. So grab your clubs and join us as we dive into the world where fairways meet foul play and a round of golf becomes a marriage hazard. Get ready for laughs and links in this uproarious love affair with the ancient game. Ah, the wild and wacky history of golf, where swinging sticks and chasing balls have been a pastime for centuries. From Roman pagans to Ming Dynasty courtiers, everyone seemed to be teeing off in their own way. But let's not forget about Scotland, where golf truly found its groove. Legend has it that King James II was so miffed by golf, distracting his archers, that he banned the game in 1457. Thankfully, King James IV saw the light and became a golfer himself, lifting the ban in 1502. Talk about a royal change of heart. And then there's St. Andrews, the holy grail of golf courses. It's like the Mecca for golfers, drawing pilgrims from far and wide to test their skills on its historic links. But wait, there's more. Musselburgh Links holds the title for the world's oldest golf course, certified by Guinness World Records. And let's not forget about the Open Championship, the OG of golf tournaments kicking off in 1860 in Ayrshire, Scotland. But the Scots didn't keep all the fun to themselves. Nope, they took golf across the pond to America, setting up the first golf club in Yonkers, New York in 1888. It was like the shot heard round the world, launching a love affair with golf that continues to this day. So, whether you're slicing through history on the old course or sinking putts in your local mini golf joint, remember, golf isn't just a game. It's a journey through time, filled with laughs, legends, and the occasional sand trap. Keep swinging, folks. Hold on to your putters, folks, because we're about to tee off into a comedy gold mine. Get ready to swing like a golf club through the air with laughter, so grab your caddies and prepare for a hole in one of humor. Tim had always treasured his golf clubs like prized possessions, treating them with the kind of reverence most people reserved for fine art or expensive jewelry. So, when he returned from his honeymoon, eager to immerse himself in his beloved sport once more, he found himself faced with an unexpected ultimatum from his new wife. As he meticulously arranged his clubs in the garage, his wife approached, her expression a mix of concern and determination. Tim, she began tentatively, I've been thinking, now that we're married, maybe it's time you quit golfing. You spend more time on the course than you do with me. Plus, think of all the money we could save. Tim's heart skipped a beat, and for a moment, he felt like he'd been transported back to the back nine of a particularly challenging round. Did she just suggest he give up golf? The thought alone was enough to make him break out in a cold sweat. But Tim was nothing, if not quick-witted, and he knew exactly how to diffuse the tension in the air. With a grin that bordered on mischievous, he turned to his wife and said, Darling, you're starting to sound like my ex-wife. His wife's eyes widened in shock, and for a moment, Tim almost regretted his quip. Almost. But then, he couldn't help but revel in the absurdity of it all. Ex-wife, she exclaimed, her voice tinged with disbelief. I didn't know you were married before. Tim couldn't resist the opportunity to inject a little humor into the situation. I wasn't, he confessed, a twinkle in his eye. But if you keep trying to separate me from my clubs, who knows? You might just become my first ex-wife. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.